Straight to Africa. Sorry. Ignore him. Enjoy your girlfriend's pretty face while it lasts. I haven't got a girlfriend. And I get sweetheart. It's a jungle out there. I'm resigning with immediate effect. This ends now. I have a brain tumour. It's malignant. I hope you all understand why I've chosen to keep my condition private. Sorry. You want this to end? I'm the one who's going to end it. Been a while now, Dr. Hannah. Another five minutes won't hurt. So are you just cracking ribs? I think we both know you could have tried harder. Time of death, 8.05. This doesn't strike you as being completely ridiculous. We turn up for shift at the same time. What do you think that lot in there are going to say? I don't know. Morning? Yeah, yeah, that's what they'll say. But in their evil little minds, they'll be thinking they spent the night together. Yeah, or maybe they'll be thinking, my God, Ruth Winters is paranoid. Look, I'll go first. You wait five minutes and then follow, OK? Whoa, whoa, whoa hang on. How come you get to go first? Well, because I'm working with Evans now. I mean, I need to be on time. Yeah, but if I'm late, Tess will bore me out. Well, she'll bore you out anyway. If not for being late, then for something else you do. That's... Hmm? Actually, that's true. Anyway, if you were any kind of gentleman... OK, OK, since you put it like that... Where is that, is that Tess? Where? Right there. Where? I'm waiting out here for 20 minutes. Well, you're allowed to wait for me inside, Jess. The results came. I thought you should be the first to see them. Right. Why don't you open it now? Get it over with. You sure. <clears throat> okay. Here it goes. And the father is. Charlie Fairhead. Oh, it's not funny. <laughs> Relax. I told you you had my ears. 
Everyone involved in the exercise, I need you outside in the car park in ten minutes for the first briefing. Okay. Ah, Henry sprung his surprise. So I see. Straight split, half the ED on the exercise, the rest of us doing recess and covering majors. I've redirected all the miners to St. James, okay? Adam, main operations in the car park, yeah? I've got some cubicles set aside for quarantine. It's probably best if you take Charlie, he knows the drill. Oh, and Big Mac will be here in an hour or so with the volunteers. By the way, this one's a chemical attack. Anything else you need? Uh, yes. Um, gonna need you to deal with this. Oh, no way. You're not leaving me with Henry today. Your clinical lead, this is your bag. Acting clinical lead, it's only temporary. Anyway, you love all this stuff, Zoe. The props, the costumes, place over on with firemen. Nice try, Adam, but Henry specifically said you were to run this. Get this right, the job's yours permanently. Well, then I'm definitely handing it over to you. Besides, I have to speak with Jordan later. Well, you better be quick. Apparently he's leaving the country. Not one for goodbyes, our Mr Jordan. All right, everyone, outside as soon as we can. Helsinki? Yeah, I decided I should make the most of the time I've got left. See a bit of the world. So you decided to see Helsinki? Well, actually, the dart decided. I should have aimed a little bit lower, a bit warmer. <laughs> what about the wedding? Are you going to be there? Charlie, I can't. I've got a plane to catch. The staff are going to want to say goodbye properly. People care about you. Though. What's the story here, then? Martin Kennedy, found in arrest in the high street. Pretty much DOA by the time he got in. Martin Kennedy? I know that name, Martin Kennedy. Should do. You operated on him. That Martin Kennedy. Take me through the recess, will you, please? He's long dead. Don't know why they called you. Tony Reese, shot at close range. Wouldn't have stood much of a chance. You know him? Uh, no, not personally, no. Gov? Says he saw the shooter. Young, black, and dressed like them. He was a paramedic. When did you last see Curtis Cooper? Gotta be tight, love. Jack your boobs up. Um. What? You gotta let us see why he's marrying you. Marrying me because he loves me. Yes, I know, love, but there's no harm in giving him a little extra incentive, is there, you know, just to help him over the finishing line. No. <laughs> oh, all right then. There you go. How's that? Well, maybe a bit tighter. <laughs> Alice? Oh, he can't see me. It's okay. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Just stay where you are. I didn't, Come on. I didn't see. That you've been in an accident and I need you to stay nice Dixie! and Dixie! Okay. Dixie! Got another body in the car. There's no time for fire and rescue. Hello? Hello, sir, can you hear me? All right, get his legs, Paul. Okay, okay. Hang on, darling. Got him. Go. Uh, uh. Right. Hey, let's get him cars and water three to my bike. Okay, look. Uh, some of the staff were a little worried that you were trying to slip away without saying goodbye. Well, I'd rather avoid a big fuss if it's all the same to you. Oh, that's a pity. You went to a lot of trouble to book that mariachi band. Come on, a couple of drinks, a little speech. It's hardly a fuss. Staff come and staff go. It's all part of the job. Nick, you're hardly normal staff. What are you looking for? Old surgery notes. I need to check something on a patient I operated on. That DOA, Martin Kennedy. What? He was a patient of yours? Underwent a heart valve replacement in 1999. Why not try medical records? Because they only have some of the notes. I've got a personal record of his treatment somewhere. It was a study I participated in, assessing biological heart valves. He was given a prototype. I didn't get a close look at Mr. Kennedy, but wasn't he a little young for a biological valve? I mean, with their lifespan, don't you have to be 70 at least? I may have fudged his age. You may. He was perfect for 